Hi everyone, it's Jana. A while ago I decided to try out extending my own nails, make them long, and I wanted to try out this shape, Salon Almond, with a good C curve. I have learned this shape in the beginning of 2019, but never actually put knowledge into practice. Please don't follow my example. Once you learn something new in nails, start practicing as soon as possible. And don't you ever stop practicing it. Anyways, let's see what turned out. As always, I started with an antiseptic. Then I pushed back the eponychium. Next, cleaned up the cuticles with a flame bead at around 15,000 RPM. At first, I worked at the right sides of the nails on reverse mode of the e-filing machine. Once I'm done with the right sides, I switch the mode to the forward and work at the left sides of the nails. I'm barely touching the nail plate as the goal at this step is cleaning the nail plates from the cuticles, not filing off the nail. I begin in the center of the nail plate and move through the sinus to the side wall and then do the same in the other direction. I'm usually using a brush to sweep off the dust as the dust is on the way to seeing the moment when cuticles are away and we have reached the nail plate. Then, using a manual file, I lifted nail cells. I would like to draw your attention here to the motions are strictly in one direction, from proximal nail fold is where the cuticles are to the distal free edge of the nail. I'm moving the file against the nail plate in only this direction as my goal is to lift the nail cells. So when I apply dehydrator, acid free primer and then a base coat and cure it in the lamp, the base coat warms up in the lamp which makes these lifted nail cells return back to the original position. But now locking the base coat in which gives us greater adhesion. Next step is setting up the paper forms. This is the most important step in nail sculpting. Each form must be cut to fit the free edge perfectly, so there are no gaps. Also, for each shape, length and natural nail type, the forms should be set differently. It sounds too complex, but once understood, it gets a lot easier. It is a huge topic, so if you wish to know more about it, let me know by liking this video and leaving a comment if you would like me to make a video about it. So my plan is to make an art fringe, and sometimes it happens that sculpted fringe tip breaks off. Therefore, to avoid such a problem, a thin layer of clear gel should be applied right from the free edge of a natural nail to the future free edge of an extended nail to strengthen the construction. Then, using a poly gel, I laid out the extension smile line in two steps with an intermediate cure. I personally prefer it to be proportionally long, it makes fingers look elegant and that way the whole set looks prettier. As I'm not looking for shortcuts, I decided to perform not the easiest set on my dominant hand with a non-dominant hand.
removing paper forms is a hard task. It must be done super carefully, as the thin layer of clear gel can break so easily. So take it easy. And stick gel from the form and carefully pull the form down until it's gone. I could not find my gel bead that would help me file down the edge of the smile line. I found it some time later in disinfecting solution. It's white and the container is white and the solution is clear so I just couldn't spot it. So it took me a while to do it manually. Shaping the extended smile line, the tongue, by file gives the smile line crisp look. Just keep the file 45 degrees angle to create a slot to lock the white French chip in. Again, it adds strength to the finished construction. At this point, I continued by applying white poly gel to the tips. I tried to make kind of perforations, grooves in the white poly gel and cure it fast. So, at the next step, golden powder will get wrapped in and encapsulated by clear hard gel. As this is my actual first time doing something like that, I don't have the feeling of how much of the material to put. So I just simply added too much of it and therefore I had to spend so much time filing this all to the desired look. Don't try that at home. Here I'm trying to leave the bottom side. It should be parallel to the lateral axis of the finger. I just can't stand the curved nails, sorry. Then I file the convex, which is the upper C-curve of the nail. You can see my struggle here.
not perfect, but for the first time I think it's not bad result. What do you think? In the end I realized some volume at the first third of the nail, aka apex, is missing, so I had to add some clear gel to balance the construction. Otherwise, the long free edge felt heavy and not comfortable. Behind the scenes, I cut off the dead eponychium and at last I applied top coat and cured it. Please let me know what you guys think in the comments by hitting the like or dislike button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so yet and remember that sharing is caring. Thank you for tuning in and I hope to see you on the next one.